Okay, now for October 2017, C12, and we have IAL paper, question again about circles. The circle C has this equation, um, write down the coordinates of the center of C and the exact values of the radius of C. Well, that's pretty simple. Remember, it's in the form X minus A squared plus Y minus B squared equals R squared. If you have the equation in that form, which it is, then the value, the number inside the bracket with the x is the x coordinate with the opposite sign, and same for the y, and then the radius is the square root of the <coughs> the number that it's equal to. So over here we can say the coordinates of the center of the circle are three and minus four. Okay, the opposite of this and the opposite of that, and the radius is going to be the square root of thirty. Okay, that's an exact value for the square root of 30. Can you write this in simplified third form? I don't think there's any perfect square um, factors. However, you could try. The calculator will give it to you straight away, just in case. Just press square root of 30 equals, and if it stays the same, then it's the same. That's right. There's no perfect square factors of 30 there. So there we have um, the answer to the first part of the question. Okay, now the next part of the question, part B, is down here, let me bring it up, oops, okay, so then it says show that, it says given that the point P with coordinates 6K, where K is a constant, lies inside the circle, show that K squared plus 8K minus 5 is less than 0, okay, so we have uh, the center of the circle is at 3 minus 4. Okay, so let me just make a little sketch here. The center of the circle is at 3 minus 4. 3 and minus 4. Somewhere down here. Okay, that's the center of the circle. And the point P um, has coordinate 6K, where K is a constant. It lies inside the circle. Okay, so what we could say here is um, the distance between the center of the circle and 6k must be less than the radius if it lies inside the circle. Okay, so the distance from O to the point P, okay, supposing the circle is around here, let me just... Supposing the circle is like this. If the point P lies inside the circle, say that's a point P somewhere like that, 6k, and this distance here, this distance here must be less than the radius of the circle. So we could use, I guess, the distance formula. We could say that we have the point 6k, and we have the center of the circle, which is the point 3 minus 4, and the distance between those two must always be less than 30 if it lies inso inside the circle. Okay, so let's now use our distance formula. We know the distance between these, the distance between the x values, they say 6 minus 3. So you have 6 minus 3 squared, the square of the distance between the x. Okay, that's that distance there. Plus the square of the distance between the y. So it's k minus minus 4, which is k plus 4 squared. That's the square of that distance here, is equal to the radius squared. So we know that this must be less than the square root of 30 squared, which is 30. So we've formed an equation, okay, from the information given. So let's just move this down a bit. So we've got 6 minus 3 squared, which is going to be 3 squared, which is 9, plus, and you've got k squared, I don't need the brackets, k squared plus 8k plus 16, and that's less than 30. Okay, so there we have uh, an quadratic inequality. Let's now bring everything to one side. You have k squared plus 8k, and you've got 9 plus 16, which is 25, minus 30, which is minus 5, is less than 0. k squared plus 8k minus 5 is less than 0. See, we've shown that now. Okay, and then part C tells us to the, go ahead and solve the equation, as far as I remember. Yes. One second. So part C is telling us to 
continue on and solve the equation. Okay. So let's put everything in the right place. So now, hence find the exact set of values of k for which p lies inside the circle c. Okay. So we know now we have to solve this inequality and find the values of k for which is true, basically. That's what they're asking us to do. So we want to solve this quadratic inequality. So the first step for, for us to solve the quadratic inequality is to find what's called the critical values. Okay, that's where the values where k equals 0. So you're going to have to take this, k squared plus 8k minus 5 is equal to 0. Now it says find the exact set of values. So that's given me a clue that I think that this is not able to be factorized. And it's pretty certain that it can't be because you've got to find two numbers that multiply to give you minus 5 and they add to give you plus 8. Now there's no way you can get any um, whole numbers that give you that or any you know, any real numbers that give you that. So we're going to have to, sorry, any rational numbers that give you that. So we're going to have to now uh, either use the quadratic formula or we can uh, complete the square. Okay, I'm going to complete the square here. I'll have k squared plus 8k is equal to 5. Then I have k plus 4 squared minus 16 is equal to 5. What did I do there? I wrote a square bracket. I put k, I put plus, I put a half of the coefficient, I squared it, and I took away the square of this number here, square root of the 4, because k plus 4 squared, if I just square that, I'll, I'll have k squared plus 8k plus 16, I don't want the plus 16, so I take it away. So now I have k plus 4 squared is equal to 5 plus 16, which is 21. So k plus 4 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 21. So k is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 21. So those will be the critical values. You're going to have a number which is going to be um, positive and a number that's negative. Minus 4, let's see, the square root of 21 is going to be more than 4, isn't it? Because the square root of 16 is 4. So it's going to be more than 4. So it's going to be, you're going to have one value just about positive. That's minus 4 plus root 21. And you're going to have another value which is quite negative, which is minus 4 minus root 21. And this is a quadratic curve which opens upwards, so you're going to see it's going to go through minus 5 somewhere. It's going to it's going to look have this type of shape. Something like that. It's not very well drawn, but that's some have some sort of shape like that. Okay? And we'll see that we want to find the values of x for which this is, or values of k, sorry, for which this is less than 0. If we're solving this inequality where k squared k squared plus 8k minus 5 is less than 0. Now, it's less than 0 at the points where it's below the x-axis, where it drops below the x-axis, which you can see, or in this case, the k-axis, which you can see is in this area here. That's where it's below the axis. Okay, so we can see that the values of k for which that applies are when k is be between minus 4 Changing color. Between minus 4 minus root 21 and minus 4 plus root 21. Those are this, that is the solution set of this problem. Those are the exact set of values of k for which part p lies inside c. Okay, so it's just solving that quadratic inequality, inequality that we formed when we basically um, worked out that the distance between the center and the point P must be less than the radius, which is root 30. Thank you for watching.